Thank you for the resub, and hello everybody, we're back. We have some Dream Drop Distance trivia. Oh boy, my favorite. It's by Jump, and um, I know that Jump is uh, definitely a Dream Drop aficionado, so th this might be tricky. Might be some tough stuff. Um, Heels, that was nine months, by the way. That's that's crazy. Thank you so much, dude. Um, music? Oh, look at that. It's the starting screen. Nueva Partida. Um, what language is this? Well, I know that, uh, I think Nueva is new in Spanish, but this could be Portuguese as well, maybe? I don't know. Probably Spanish? I'm almost positive Nueva is new. Um, anyway, it's Spanish. Thank you, Daybreak. Um, Jump knows more about Dream Drop than some numbered titles. Take that as you will. Yeah, I gotta say, I don't think I know about any non-numbered titles more than I do about numbered ones. Like, I don't think I know more about Chain of Memories than, like, two, or, like, BBS more than three. Um, I think I'm most well-versed. Honestly, I'm probably more well-versed in two than three. It probably goes one, two, three, and from top to bottom. But, <coughs> um... You know, this this is out of the big five. This is definitely my weakest one. You know, um, I played through it the least amount of times. It is my least preferred. I won't say I don't like it, just my least preferred. Um, I definitely like it less when I'm playing it, though. That's for sure. Um, this is loud. Dream drop. I do like the little the little swing here. The sleepiest. Oh, the dream droppiest llamas. <laughs> I was like. The sleepiest down arrows, llamas. You're most knowledgeable about three, buffoon? Interesting. Frequently fall asleep at the Dream Drop cutscene compilations? Interesting. I have a, uh, I have the channel just for you. Well, actually, that's the Wayfinder project, but you click the links on the Dream Drop. You can just go through the theater mode like nothing. The Wayfinger, <laughs> yeah. The Wayfinger project. Oh, Kamori's here. I know Kamori's a big Dream Drop stand, so... I told Kino you were doing this, so we'll see if Kino turns up. Um, because Kino's a big Dream Drop guy as well. God, I love the Wayfinder project, too. By the way, um, new video coming out tonight. Um, it, it will probably come out before I'm done streaming, to be honest. I plan, I want to beat Epic Mickey today. Um, just because it's like this specter hanging over me. I'm not a big Bambi guy. But um, 7 p.m. Eastern is the plan. Well, it's already uh, it's already scheduled to post. So as of right now, it's posting at seven, um, and it is the um, it's about 45 minutes or so, and it is the um, comparison between Cage One the novel and Cage One the game. Um, so I hope you enjoy that um, when this is all said and done. Um, I uh, why did I think of that? oh because I used the Wayfinder project to. It's so crazy how, how helpful it is for me still. It's so good. Oh yeah, thank you, Buffoonie. I have a sub goal. Um, if you, you could help me make my sub count a nice round number. Um, if I get to, uh, if I get five more. Actually, no, I think I need four more. Um, somebody stealth resub that I missed it. Uh, cause I needed, uh, I needed six to get a round number before the stream started. But now I only need four, so. There is nothing sexier than a spreadsheet. I agree. I have a spreadsheet for everything. For my favorite songs. Um, I've ranked all of my college classes <laughs> with a spreadsheet. Um, what was my least favorite class? Oh, character animation. Which was part of my major, too. I hated it. Hated it so much. Um, <clears throat> two spreadsheets is actually possibly sexier. I gotta say. Um, I'm drinking, by the way. Um, I, I believe I said that in the tweet in the Discord post. But not in the title of the stream, but it's a Mike's Critical. Not a critical level one, as Vodka said, because I'm a lightweight. Becoming more like Frosty. Crunk Pat! <laughs> Your stream doesn't have notice for Prime subs? Oh. Well, I'm sorry, Kamori. Well, thank you for the resub there. Um, that's so weird. I thought it was all one and the same. That's not true, though, because I've definitely seen... I just realized Owned Lamer is with us today. Um... <laughs> I've definitely seen people subscribe with Prime, and uh, I don't usually like delineate it. I just say, "Oh, thanks for the resub." Um, oh, you called me a lightweight ever key. Am I? 
Oh my god, I thought it was vodka. Oh, you know why? Because you're both pink and you both have the skater person as your <laughs> profile picture. I was like, what? I really thought it was vodka. Yeah, I don't know, Kamora. Maybe you just did it stealthily. Or maybe it's delayed. I don't know. This should help. Um, Spiders, thank you so much for gifting a sub to I'm Overly Obsessed with KH. That is uh, Spiders' second gift. Oh, oh, don't I? I own... I, I, or I, I owe Spiders a... Uh, a diamond, right? I didn't give that to you yet, did I, Spiders? Alright, we're gonna start the Kahoot in two minutes, but in the meantime... Oh, this is fun. I'll have to take away a VIP badge from somebody and give it to Spiders. <laughs> Let's see. Who should I take it away from? I won't say. Um, but I do need to do it. And it's probably gonna be one of my associates. Um, we'll see. Is anybody unpatroned that I can take it away from? In my heart, I hope not. Um, who's never around? Like, that's... Like, I feel like I should take it away from somebody who's never here. Um, Keynote's a moderator, otherwise I'd take it away. <laughs> uh, I can't take it away from the Spaghetti Bros or Bio or Nova. That can't happen. Um, who's never, ever, ever, ever here? Who doesn't really do... <laughs> This is probably bad, bad business to uh, do this on stream, but uh, I think this person probably won't mind or even notice, so I will do that. Sorry, this person. I just, it's just good business. Unlock spiders. This is the first VIP badge earned with blood. Um, that's what you get. If you, if you now become a $20 patron, it means taking the diamond away from somebody else who doesn't pay me. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, there you go. There you go, spiders. <laughs> no, dude, it's fine. <laughs> it's, uh, I really enjoyed doing it, actually. I like, uh, I like to redistribute the power. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a blood diamond. Alright, folks. Let me get my, uh, my name plugged in here. Um, first of all, the code, 470-749. Um... If you're new, although I don't think anybody here is, you can uh, go to kahoot.it, punch the code in, and play along at home. It's trivia all about Dream Drop Distance. Um, is Kiwi here? Is that a Kiwi? K-Way? Show yourself, bro. Yo, Guides is here. Guides survived the Thanosing of the uh, of the VIP. It wasn't Guides. It wasn't any of my patrons. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, what should my name be? Um... Hmm. Esper? I guess I'll be Meow Pat. Meow! <coughs> um, do I have a favorite Spider-Man villain? I like that you tagged it with small talk. Um, I've only seen the first two Sam Raimi ones and then the MCU ones. I didn't see the Andrew Garfield ones and I was not a big Spider-Man kid like pre-Raimi movies. Um, I have played... Whoa! Oh, hey, heels, dude. Uh, thank you so much. Got promoted. Wanted to share the wealth a bit. Don't tell Frosty. <laughs> I don't know why we're hiding it from Frosty, but heels, thank you so much, and congratulations on the promotion. Um, I had no idea. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate that. That'll, uh, that'll get me, that'll keep me warm for Epic Mickey, I think. Um, I don't want it to seem like that it's pulling teeth for me to play Epic Mickey, but it is. Um, and I'm not gonna obfuscate it anymore. But, uh, yeah, again, congratulations, heels. Well done. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Spider-Man villains. Yeah, I played the PS4 Spider-Man. Um, I like how I get a notification using Heel's real name through PayPal now. Uh, that doesn't always happen, but sometimes. Um, it's not that I'm not a fan of it, it's just that I feel like, um, when I stream it, I feel like I'm so, uh, my, my attention span is, is not great. Speaking of which, Spider-Man villain. I played the PS4 one, um, I mean... Guy, well, the PS4 villains are not, like, that fleshed out. You don't really get uh, a super substantial arc with them. Out of, like, the movies that I've seen, um, I thought that uh, Doc Ock in the second one was probably my favorite. Um, God, getting a bit of a alcohol burpees there. Um, I think probably... And who is the... What's Goblin was fun, I question? guess. Um, what's the fucking Mysterio is the Jake Gyllenhaal guy? Um... Which is worse to play, Epic Mickey or Dream Drop? Um, Dream Drop. <laughs> but, 
<laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Doc Ock is good in the PS4 game. Although I felt like his heel turn was a little difficult. Like, it was not... It was like... I don't know if I bought it. Like, uh, it just seemed like a little too... Like, he was so cordial with Peter. I know, like, the tentacles took over his brain, but... Um, I don't know. I felt that was a little off. Um, yo, it's Frosty! Frosty, something happened that I'm not even supposed to tell you about. Um, Jack, uh, Jakey G is Mysterio, yeah. He was fine, I guess. Although his plan was pretty uh, deranged and out there. I'm sorry, we're like way overdue on the uh, start in the Kahoot. Um, anything else that I wanted to cover on Spider-Man? Keynote's here! Keynote, get on in! Gotta wait for Keynote. I told Keynote that this was happening. Um, Frosty, are you gonna be able to like hold my hand through the rest of this video game? Whoa! B-I-C-T-H. Uh, dream Drop, yeah. Oh, Keynote's already in. Okay, great. Perfect. All right, well, we'll start. This is Jumps, Dream Drop, Kahoot. Let me just double check on these settings. Boom. All right, here we go, folks. <clears throat> Kenodio, son! <laughs> yes, you are, Frosty. I give you permission. What happens when you don't meet a, di a dive requirement? Um, huh, I, I have no idea. You start the die from the beginning, you continue with a bronze medal, you die, or you go through a bonus section to make it up. A dive requirement. Oh, this was stupid of me. Yeah, I... <laughs> a requirement means you must do it. Meaning you can't... <laughs> you can't continue. My, You know what? My four homies out there who said blue, um, I have solidarity with you. You can't... <laughs> if it's a requirement then surely you cannot get third place. You know, that's not how that works. SMH my head. Um, in fact, I failed a dive. Uh, I, I did this exact thing, and the dive started over on stream. So, well, at least I'm tied with my buddy Kiwi, so. All right. <laughs> Kimori, Kino Dream, Just James, Dan Bob Distance. That's a good one. And Kimori Snacks. Here we go, number two. Um, which nightmare do you never encounter in a dive sequence? Are these all dive questions? Who do you never see in a dive sequence? Ducky Goose, Heavy Rep, Ice Gwen Ace, or Drill Psy? I can't even picture, like, two of these. Um, what does it mean to be heavy? But, but my sleep paralysis demon. Ah, fuck! <laughs> I said Heavy Rep. Um, Ducky Goose. Yeah, everyone's favorite. I don't think it's randomized. Uh, oh, should questions? Well, questions are not randomized. Um, I typically don't randomize the questions. If you told me, I probably forgot. Um, I need to start making notes on my spreadsheet. Um, it's always a ducky goose. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, the answers are randomized, uh, but not the questions. I hope that's okay. <clears throat> um, we have Dan Bop Distance, Esper, Immortal Sharp, Riku's Long Hair, and Florges. And I am still in 44th. Um, number three. Um, which of these Keyblades give you the highest stats boost? Attack plus magic. Um, oh, fuck. Unbound, End of Pain, Dive Wing, or Sweet Dreams? Bum, bum, bum. I'm gonna wait for the chat to say the thing. No? No one's gonna say it? Fuck! It's di I, I said Dive Wing. Um, nobody said the thing? I'm shocked that nobody... There you go. Thank you, one who watches. Uh, <laughs> it's like, what? Someone's gotta say it. Um, unbound. Well, I'm not bound to win this Kahoot at this rate. Oh, we got Floor, just Kamori, Dan Bob Distance, Kino Dream, and Kyle. Number four. Which of these dream pieces is not real? Uh, they all sound real. Malleable, rampant, vibrant, or noble fancy. They all sound real to me. Oh, fuck. Really? It's malleable something else, right? Um, it's gotta be... Malleable fantasy, maybe? Is that what it's called? Um, fantasy. Damn it. So I was looking at the wrong word, basically. Yeah, Haku must be trolling. I I swear, it says orders uh, order of answers is randomized, so... I don't know. Um, that's, well, speaking of four in a row, four wrong answers in a row, and someone's joined the Kahoot, because I'm in 45th now. Florges, Kino Dream, Esper, Immortal Sharp, and Riku's Bugs! Gotta do it. We know I gotta do it Mickey, to him. Sorry if that was loud. It's Riku. <laughs> they put bugs in him. What? what? 
Number five. Which of these is a disposition for Meow Wow? This is deep cut. What the fuck? Fido, Pouncer, Tea Kettle, or Sidekick? Um, Balloon Bad. This is made up. <laughs> right? What the fuck? I did get this one. I did remember. But I read these other ones. I was like, that's gotta be all made up. Um, maybe it's not. Maybe they they belong to other um, Dream Eaters. Um, yeah. Alright, that was the first green answer, so we're good now. Um, now I'm in 31st, behind Komori Snacks. Um, no changes there on the leaderboard. Number 6. Um, the nightmare is called Ruler of the Skies when sighted in the forecast, or this nightmare. Um... Ryu Dragon, Halberd, Pegaslick, or Aura Lion? Is this a Days reference? I have no clue. Um. Ah, fuck. I said Halberd. Um, no commentary on that for me. We got Florges, Rikus Bug, Standbop Distance, Kino Dream, and Esper? Number seven. Um, which form of Xehanort appears in the most cutscenes? Uh, young Xehanort, Ansem, Master Xehanort, or Xemnas? There's no way it's not this. I'll be flabbergasted. Unless it- unless... There's no way. I need a Wayfinder project after this. Okay, I was like, if it's not young Xehanort, then I have just been like, completely like gaslit by the video game um this is the f no we had it we had a non-red answer last time but we are back to red again so the, the one was green before um yeah because young xehanort will show up in like every world except country of the musketeers right he's in uh maybe not yeah because he, he usually joins he's usually alongside ansem or Zemnis. like ansem shows up in hunchback world but young xehanort's with him Xemnas shows up in Prankster's Paradise, and I believe Young Xehanort's with him there, and the grid, right? Um, and he's in Symphony of Sorcery, and obviously the end game and Traverse Town, so um, there you go. Yeah, Ansem is probably, um, outside of like the battle um, against Riku, I think he's probably in the least. Maybe it could be Xemnas. Well, Xemnas is in the My Friends and My Power scene, and Ansem's not, so they might be pretty equal. Master Xehanort's like, in just the one at the end, right? I don't think there's... Maybe unless there's, like, a flashback or something, or, like, a memento. Um, I am in 25th behind Alley. Carly, do you really love the grid? Um, Esper in 4th, and Immortal Sharp. Number 8. Um, where is Sora in this momentous cutscene? Where is Sora? Oh, I know. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's one of these two. Nightmarish Abyss, Where Nothing Gathers, Avenue to Dreams, Memory Skyscraper. I was like, oh, it's the world that never was. Yes, okay, good, I got it. I was between red and yellow. Um, another red one. Um, where Nothing gather Gathers is the throne room, so I knew it wasn't that, because that would be an all-white room there. And then Memory Skyscraper is the, you know, the big, just the circular room with the skyscraper in the middle. Um, and then I don't know the difference between these two, but I got lucky, so there you go. Um, I'm in 23rd behind Spiders, owner of the Blood Diamond. We got Florges, Esper, Kino Dream, Riku's Bugs, and Damn Up Distance. Number 9. Um, what is the name of the in-game trophy you get for scoring more than 7.5 million points in dive mode? Oh, fuck. Dream Diver, Deep Diver, Daring Diver, or Drift Diver? I don't know. Should I have picked red just because that's the trend? Ooh, I'm glad I didn't. I picked yellow. Um, I was close to picking red, but it seems almost too easy for it to be Dream Diver, you know? Uh, daring Diver. They call me the Drift Diver in college. <laughs> there you go. Alright, only Florges got that on the leaderboard. I am in at 16th behind it. Dream Break, number 10. Um, how many rare spirits are there? Spirits that don't have a nightmare counterpart. Oh, this was, uh... Was this not a thing? Uh, 
Seven, eight, nine, ten. Was this? I feel like this was a question from a previous Kahoot, but reversed. Oh, it was in Kamori's. There you go. It sounded familiar. Oh, you know what? We had it in the uh, hundred Kahoot, hundredth one. Oh, fuck me! I said eight. Oh, seven was my next guess though. So I thought it was like three before I saw the options. <laughs> yeah, the question was the other way around. I think. Um, damn it. Uh, well, only four or five people got it, so there's nine. We got Dan Bob Distance rising up. I am in 18th. Number 11. Um, you fight this combination of big flower dream eaters when trying to escape La City de Cloche as Sora. Oh, fuck me. Uh. Three woe flowers, three wee flowers, one wee flower, and two woe flowers, or two wee flowers, and one woe flower. Yes, I got it. I knew it was one of the, it was either red or blue. And I was like, well, I know that one of them is a different color. And it's probably the woe flower is the odd one out. Um, but no, they have, uh, there's like different color schemes for, even even though they're uh, both nightmares, they're, they, they have different colors. And there's like the dream version of both of them, I think, or the spirit version. Uh, we got Kyle swapping in there, and I am in 14th now, behind Sir Orin. Number 12. How many special portals are in each world? Um, the secret portal does not count. Oh, that's good to know. 6, 3, 4, 5. <laughs> uh, I just guessed. Can't listen to American Idiot without hearing the Johnny Test theme. Interesting. I'll have to uh, take a look at that. <laughs> ah, fuck. Well, I said four. But it was six. What can you do? Um, I'm in 15th. Kamori's back in the game. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait. I thought Kamori Snacks was you. That's somebody else. Um, Forges, Esper, Riku's Bugs, Kamori, and a Damn Bop Distance. Number 13. Um, which world in the first group after Traverse Town happens second chronologically? Second out of this group? Or after Traverse Town? That is huge. That's a huge... <laughs> Jump, is this... Traverse Town is one and then this world is two? Or is it two out of these three? Ugh. I said the grid at the last second. Which was stupid because I think that that's never. What was the... so? What is it? Isn't it you go to uh, Hunchback first in this group and then ah, I would have got it wrong regardless. But I saw that there was one second left, so I was like, I better hit something. Um, okay. Bop, 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 bop. I don't know why I'm humming my own theme. Jesus, ego. Florges and Esper up there. Number fourteen. How do you unlock the Sweet Dreams Keyblade? Finish the Secret Cup and Flick Rush, defeat Hakko Monkey in Traverse Town, complete all special portals, or create one of every spirit. I'm between two of these. Um, I just hope it's this one. I think it, I think it is. Yeah, I didn't think there was any key. Is there a Keyblade for the green? I don't. I don't think there is. Um, blue would give you Knockout Punch, I believe. Um, and then isn't yellow uh, unbound or something? Um, there you go. Well, I got the one that everyone else got. That's thrilling. I'm in 15th. Um, canonically, it's Pranksters next. So yeah, canonically, Pranksters is before the grid, but battle levels are... Ba yeah, that's stupid. I hate that. Um, so bad. Okay. We got Buffoon rising up to third and COVID Oracle in fifth. He's powered up by the COVID. Number 15. How many spirits are in the game? Oh, fuck. Too many. Um, 52, 54, 56, 58. I don't know. Come on, 52. Ah, fuck me. Well, damn. I was hoping uh, maybe it's like like deck of cards, you know. Um, I'm in 17th. We got Keynote in 3rd and Buff Mongademics in 5th. Number 16. 
Oh, double points. Um, what dream piece is dropped if you let a Meow Wow spirit die? Vibrant fantasy, troubling fantasy, fleeting fantasy, or rampant fantasy. Literally, my only out is to hit a button immediately on these. Um, <laughs> you never played this game? I've played it at least two times in full, so... Bum, 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 bum. A troubling fantasy would be the funniest one. Ah, fuck. That's so stupid. Fleeting and troubling make more sense. Um, because your Meow Wow is, is fleeting, and it's also troubling that you let it die. So, well, um, that puts me in 21st. And we got COVID Oracle and Riku's Bugs rising up. Number 17. Um, how many bosses require a reality shift to defeat? There, that many? <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. Literally, the only one I know is, uh, fucking Pete and the Beagle Boys. Um... In Country of the Musketeers. So I went with four, because that's the lowest. <laughs> oh, great strategy, because I was like, I can literally only think of one, so there can't be that many. Um, so, also, we take those dubs, gang gang, hello. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah. What are the other ones? Oh, Young Xehanort. Young Xehanort, Comantis, Peg Lake Pete, and Chill Clobster. Chill Clobster, that's the... Um, Prankster's Paradise one, right? Wow. What do I know? What do I know? Um, Florida's and Keynote got it. I'm in 14th. Number 18. Um, which of these bosses has a weakness to Blizzard? Wargoyle, Comantis, Charclobster, or Spelican? Um... It'd be pretty it'd be pretty obvious if it was Char Clobster. Ah fuck. You know why? Cause like when your computer freezes, because he's like a virus, like Comantis, you know? That's how you that's how you remember. I thought it was Wargoyle because I thought it was like fire type or something. Um you know, you wanna freeze the program. God damn it. You're joking. Nobody got it. Nobody got it at all. Are you dead of ass? <laughs> that's Starfire. 19. Which of these boss fights do not give you an HP boost? I don't know. Turnabog, Peg Lake Pete, Giant Ursula, or Traverse Town boss gauntlet as Sora. Ah, I went with the green one because it was so specific. 16th place for me. Uh, we got Riku's Bugs in 2nd, and Kyle in 5th. Sorry that I don't have a ton of commentary on these, I just, uh, it's all such tangential information for me, so I'm just kinda, I'm cruising. Number 20, um, which track plays during the Tyranto Rex mini-boss fight? I believe it's... Majestic Wings, Wild Blue, Untamable, or Shrouding Dark Cloud. Yeah, there you go, Kino. I think I might know it too. Thank you, David Russell! <laughs> there you go, baby, Shrouding Dark Cloud. That's a KH1 OG. And uh, I'm sure David talks about it in that Dream Drop video. Um, maybe he doesn't. I don't know. It's been a while. I think that was the first Barge Caprice, that one. Uh, we got COVID Oracle and Keynode rising up. I'm in 14th behind Spiders. Number 21. What track plays if you lose a Flick Rush match? Um... Huh, if you lose a Flick Rush match. Link to all, Dream Eaters, Oopsie Daisy, or Distant From You. Ah, I probably should have gone with... Yeah. I know it's not one of these. Yo, Vodka. What? That's the one I knew it wasn't. It plays Oopsie Daisy? That's my fucking theme song. What? Let me look at the wiki. How did, how did I not know this? Oopsie, well, first of all, it's spelled wrong. Uh, let me see. Oopsie Daisy with a Y. Wow, yeah, Neverland. Because I always say, when people ask me, what is that, where does the song come from? I always say, the Brig in Neverland in KH1, and the Avalanche in Arendelle in KH3. But yeah, it plays, according to the wiki, Flick Rush minigame loss. I had no fucking idea. Because I never lose at Flick Rush, baby, because you know what? I never fucking play. So. Well, what can you do? 
Oh, happy Women's History Month, everybody. I made a big oopsie-daisy. I'm an 18th behind the dream droppiest llamas. Um, we got COVID Oracle and Kyle rising up there. Number 22. Which command isn't in either character's starting decks? Not in either? Blizzard, Spark Dive, Quick Blitz, or Sleep. Ooh, did I fuck this? It's a cool image. Oh, fuck! I knew it! I knew I fucked it! As soon as I hit sleep, I was like, it's Spark Dive. Ah, oh, I guess one of them has sleep. And the other doesn't. Um, yeah, Spark Dive, I feel like you gotta craft. So. <laughs> Let's see. Everybody on the leaderboard got that one. I'm still an 18th. Ah, oh, man, oh, man. 23. Which of these commands is exclusive to Riku? Shadow Breaker, Blackout, Meteor, or Sonic Blade? I don't know. Come on. Ah, fuck. I said Blackout. I definitely knew, knew that uh, Sora could use Shadow Breaker. Um, and you would think he could use Sonic Blade because that's like, you know, he learns that in Cage 1. Um. So I was between yellow and blue, and I, I biffed it. Well, I'm in 19th. And we got Kino rising up to second. Here we go. Final question. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is 24. <laughs> 24, true or false? Um, Neko cats have four legs. Is there a, is there a secret that I'm missing here? Is this a huge brain? I'm gonna have to look at it. Please be true. <laughs> oh my god. They have six? Let's look at this fucker. I'm pulling this fucker up right now. Neko cat. Oh my god! <laughs> Disgusting. Alright, let me... <laughs> let me change my... My window here so you can see this abomination. Look at this fucking thing! Ew! Yeah! It indeed has six legs! Oh my god. It's, yeah, it's a Mandela effect for sure. I think, it, I think it had four legs until I observed it. It's like fucking quantum physics or something. Neko Cat's just living its best life. I don't know. There's the nightmare version. Ugh. And there's the rare one. Jesus. Get it away! Get it away! No! <laughs> so sorry, everybody, that I had to subject you to that. Um, let's see. Where's the Kahoot again? Kahoot! There we go. Disgusting! Um, what can I... Uh, no. Now that's just plain rude. Nonsense. This man speaks nonsense. I need, like, something to, uh, really convey disgust um as a uh how about how about this <laughs> there you go all right uh well florges and kyle got it um i however am in 22nd this will be my worst showing in a good bit um and our final question 25 um which rhyme is not found in ghost of baki's journal entry White, ite, light, or blight? I have no idea. Oh, you think th there you go. Perfect daybreak. That's gross. What if I just cut it off to be that's gross. Blight? Fuck. I said white. Um I have like a faint memory of them saying ite in the uh in the journal. Dude with an axe, thanks for the follow. Don't follow me too closely with that axe though. Keep your distance, please. Keep your dream drop distance. Yeah, eight? That's in there. Um, all right. Well, <laughs> I definitely... I ended in 22nd, so bad on me. Uh, let's see our leaderboard, though. In third place, 13 out of 25 for Keynode. In second place, 12 out of 25, but faster is COVID Oracle. And 17 out of 25, our dream drop master. It is. Florges. Congratulations. Um, and then in fourth, Riku's Bugs. In fifth, Kyle. Look at that. 
Good job, leader boarders. Um, this did seem pretty tough. Like, this this should have been called, like, Dream Drop Critical Mode, because, I mean, even the leaderboard people, like, Keanu got third, and he only got 13, you know, Oracle got 12 out of 25. Um, so, I'm gonna say this is probably a pretty low percentage. I think I'll go with um, 29%. There you go, pretty close, 27. Um, the Blizzard weakness was the toughest one with Commandus there. Yeah, all but five questions were uh, were difficult on this one. If anyone wants to give like a, a dream drop, uh, we don't hate you, Jump. Thank you, Jump, for making this. Thank God, PJ's too late for this one. Uh, Jump, maybe you should make us like uh, one of one of these for mortals, you know, um, for people who have played uh, games in the series besides Dream Drop. Um, I, I would appreciate that. Could you, if you could ask me, like, like who do Sora and Riku fight on the raft? I would love something like that. Um, you know, really spoon feed it to me. Um, yeah, Dream Drop Beginner Kahoot. Yeah, there you go, Blitz. Blitz also made us a Peach Kahoot, um, which is insane to me. <laughs> it is fucking insane that somebody submitted a Peach Kahoot before anybody made a um, a Riku Kahoot, <laughs> uh, a Kairi Kahoot. Um, all the organization members still aren't done. There's no Roxas or Shion Kahoot. We're playing Axel, Luxord, and Demix within the next month. Um, Axel will actually be the last one of August if we're if we stay on schedule. Um, because the eighth month is the Axel month. Um, Luxord and Demix in the, uh, first week of September. Um, but yeah, Pete before Larxene and Roxas, Shion, Riku, <laughs> Kyrie. It's pretty nuts. Oh, uh, Vak is making a Larxene one. But yeah, we're almost done with all of the organization members. Mostly the Pete as part of a meme. Okay, there you go. Well, listen, we love me. We had, we had a Clayton Kahoot from Ramsam before, so... Um, Carl will make a, a Kyrie one. Okay, listen. What's up, Kyrie? There you go. Um, all right, folks. Well, that was our Kahoot for the day. We're switching over to Epic Mickey, so I understand if if that's not your jam, because believe me, it's it's barely even mine. Um, but I'll be I'll be drinking and uh, I'll be answering questions. If anybody wants to AMA, um, I'll I'll do that. We'll just we'll just shoot the shit as I try to make it through this, because uh, my stubbornness doesn't want me to uh, leave this game go. Like I want to defeat it. Um, even though it has been quite pestering. So um, we'll switch over to that. Yeah, any question, PJ, any question. Uh, all right, bye, VOD people.